Hi, in this video we're going to be discussing how to manage user accounts in Windows. So of course Microsoft wants you to use the Windows setting app when managing user accounts. So to do so you click on Start, Settings, Accounts, and then you'll see various information. You'll see your um, email address if you're using a Microsoft account. This shows that this user is an administrator not signed into OneDrive. You can see your Microsoft 365 subscription information. And if you click on your info, you could change your picture or add a picture if you want. Switch to a local account. Then you have your sign-in options. So most likely you're going to be using Windows Hello if it's a standalone computer in a work group. If you're at work on a domain, then you're probably not going to be using this with a pin. You're probably going to be using a password for the domain. Then of course you could set up your facial and fingerprint recognition, change your pin and so on. And then this section here called email and accounts, it is not for your user account. This is just for linked accounts that you could use in the uh, Windows email app, the Microsoft Outlook for Windows app. And then your family settings if you're ever using any of that. And then this is where you're most likely going to come to manage your other users in the other users section here. So you can see here we have another user on this computer. If I click on it, click on change account type. So right now it's a standard account. I could make it a local administrator if I want. And then also remove it from here. And then of course you could come here and add an account. So Microsoft will try and force you to add a user with a Microsoft account. But if you click on this right here, I don't have this person sign in. And then add a user without a Microsoft account. And then you could add a local account that way to kind of get around the Microsoft account requirement. Okay, so that's how you do it from the Windows Settings app. So you could also do it from Control Panel. So if you go to User Accounts here, you can see your settings here. Make changes to My Account and PC Settings, which will open the Windows app. Change your account type if you want to switch it from Standard to Administrator. And of course, you have to be an administrator to switch account types. Uh, manage another account. You could click on Cindy here and then change their account type from here, just like in the Windows setting. Delete the account if needed. Then you have the Credentials Manager for Web and Windows credentials. And then the Configure Advanced User Profile Properties. You're probably not going to come here to use it, but this is where you get to it if you do. Okay, and then finally we have the NETPLWIZ. Type that in the search box here in the taskbar and click on that. So this is another user account tool you could use. So this shows the same user accounts here. You could check the properties, change the name, change group membership if you want, from standard to administrator, or go down to other and pick one of these user types. You could also remove an account from here. Then when you go to the advanced tab here, you can manage the passwords. Then we have this advanced user management section. You click on advanced. And this will take you to the local users and group. But this is for uh, Windows Professional, so you can't use it in the home edition. And then you could require users to press Control alt delete to log in for security purposes. All right, so once again, you could go to the Windows Settings to manage the apps. You could go to Control Panel, or you could type in NETPWLIZ to get to this user accounts tool here. And for the most part, you could use either one of these tools. Uh, you might find that one tool might not have a couple features that the other one does. So I suggest, you know, just trying them all and seeing which one works the best for you. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.